Clicker Connect is the next app in the series of apps from Crick Software. Building on skills from Clicker sentences, students transition away from single sentence support. While that is still an option, here the focus is on providing students with clusters of words, phrases, and or pictures to help them build text for multiple options of sentences. As with Clicker sentences, as each sentence is finished, it is spoken aloud so students can check and correct if necessary what they have written. A number of similar features are included in this app that you will recognize from Clicker sentences. They include on the top right of the grid the delete button, again deleting whole words rather than letters in the word because we're still focusing on whole words, including the line down arrow, including the sound shift button, which so that you can hear words prior to placing them in the word processor, and finally the kid-friendly keyboard that you will notice is still an option as well so you can type right in the document rather than using the grids. Just as in clicker sentences, students tap to send pictures, words, or phrases into the document. Long, long ago there was a wicked fairy. Students are able to write a number of sentences from one grid and can extend their writing by using a series of grids in a set as well as the child-friendly keyboard previously mentioned. The app supports many different writing activities and possibilities including constructing simple sentences or even sentences with picture support. This is a goldfish. As previously mentioned, words and phrases are organized in clusters as you see below, so you can create many different sentences out of clusters of words. On Saturday we went to the park. Yesterday we went to zoo. Just like in Clicker sentences, Clicker Connect also has the guided order ability. I like sandwiches for lunch. I don't like bananas for breakfast. You'll notice that it only allows me to select one cluster of words or phrases at a time. This allows the student to focus on what parts they need to be focusing on prior to moving on to the next one. I don't like bananas for lunch. I like toast for breakfast. Again, just as with clicker sentences, the picture supports will go up into my word processing document when I type them from my grid at below. That way when you read these back you do have the picture supports there to support the student. And also when guided order is activated it allows the student to go focus and learn how to write from the left to right. To create modified grids just like in clicker sentences you go to the edit icon on the top right of the page. Here you can perform a number of customizations including creating custom clusters resizing cells, changing colors, and adding images from the camera roll, taking a picture, or using the Crick Picture Library that comes with over 2,500 images included right within Clicker Connect. You'll notice on the top here is the information that is seen in this cluster right here. I can go to my next cluster of phrases down here. I can click on an individual cell or phrase. Down here is where I can add pictures for each of those. I can also align the cluster depending on how I want the activity to look. I can double the height of my clusters. I can also randomize them as well. By selecting individual cells again, I can change the color. And I can also change the color of the text. If I did not want one of my phrases in there, I could simply delete the cell from within that cluster. 
If we go back down by selecting Zoo, you'll see the Crick Picture Library provided me with that picture of Zoo. For students that you do not want to include text on the picture, simply go up to the top right and turn off Show Text. And now you'll notice within the cell Zoo, only the picture of Zoo remains. If I go back to my activity, let me delete this information in here. You'll notice that on the bottom grid is how I just customized it in edit mode. Yesterday we went to the Yesterday we went to a park. You'll notice how the picture zoo is not read because I do not have the word there. If you'd like the students to go add the words, simply open up your child-friendly keyboard. Yesterday we went to the zoo. And there you go. Again, edit mode is full of different customizations where you can resize cells, you can change the layout of it, change different parts of it, change the colors, depending on how you need your activity set up. I can add a cell within a cluster by tapping the Add button while a cell is highlighted. I can also highlight the entire cluster to add another cluster before or after the selected cluster. Within this one cluster, I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete each of the things inside of it. I'm going to then select this cluster here, and I'm going to add another cluster after that selected cluster. And you'll notice I have cell 1 and cell 2, and then I can change what's inside of those right now. Change cell 1 to amusement park. Change cell 2 to farm. And you notice how those changed just like that right inside my clusters. If I go back to my activity, you'll notice my grid at the bottom changed just like that. You'll also notice that up in the cluster content, there's brackets around amusement park because there's multiple words included in one cell. If I wanted to add another cell, I could add brackets or parentheses, and you'll notice that another cell shows up at the bottom. That ensures that the words that I want will go inside that cell and not be combined with any other cells. So I have amusement park, farm, and then zoo in parentheses. Just like in Clicker Sentences, Clicker Connect has a number of other features across the top toolbar. They include the settings, where you can adjust settings in the document, speech, share, and accessibility, depending on the needs and features you want. A document tab that allows you to create a new document, send a copy of your document, or print. A favorites section where you can store favorite activities and grids you created. And a control sign at the top that will show all of your creations, your activities and grids. It will also allow you to go to learning grids through Crick Software, register for free, and find and search through many grids that are already created for you to use or modify for your needs. A clean layout of this app, similar to Clicker Sentences, the many customization options offered, the integrated clip art from the Clicker Picture Library, and numerous sharing options make the app both easy and exciting to use, and it's proven to help struggling writers advance to the next level of writing. The app is made with the user in mind and is a seamless transition from Clicker Sentences. Future apps we will be looking at include Clicker Docs, Clicker Books, and write online. You can see a previous review of Clicker sentences on bridgingapps.com. Clicker Connect is part of the series of apps from Crick Software, and you can find much more information on the website at www.
www.clicksoft.com. I hope you enjoyed this video of Clicker Connect and that you're able to use the app and have as much fun, ease of use, and excitement that I did. Thanks for watching.